get it done. We better get started. Patience is not the director's strong suit. Hey, Chad here. I'm really excited to talk to you today about the HoloLens. Um, so I just got this uh, Friday and uh, here we are at Thursday already, Thursday morning. I was going to try to get this out uh, last night, but it just uh, it wasn't happening. So either way, uh, I've been uh, playing with the HoloLens on and off, unfortunately. Uh, regular work stuff is, is getting in the way, and so uh, I have to pay bills rather than uh, play with awesome new technology. Um, but I'm actually going to be uh, utilizing uh, the HoloLens in some of my uh, upcoming projects, so pretty excited about that. Uh, but the day's not here quite yet, um, so I have to uh, transition into that. But uh, what today is about is just showing you what I think are the uh, the top five must-have apps in the HoloLens store, the Windows store, <clears throat> that work uh, with HoloLens. So with that said, let's jump right into the to the top five apps. Hmm. All right. Welcome to Hollow Tour, the experience where you get to travel without limits. My name's Melissa, and I'll be your personal tour guide. Start. Now you can choose which tour you want to take. So, where would you like to go? Get ready to explore one of the most ancient and beautiful cities on the planet. Select. Select. <laughs> Look at this painting I brought. It's the Piazza Navona, a place where Roman artists have gathered for centuries. Ciao is how you say hi in Italian. Go ahead, give it a try. Ciao. Perfect. You'd fit right in. In fact, rather than just staring at this painting, let's go see Rome in real life. <laughs> Say what? Feast your eyes. We're actually standing in Piazza Navona in Rome, a city that's been home to emperors and artists, popes and gladiators. Using your gaze, place the toolbox in an open area near the middle of your room at about waist height and air tap to begin.
Welcome to Hollow Studio. To get started, gaze at the begin button and air tap it. Begin. Hollow Studio is a fun and simple workshop for building and sharing your own holograms. We'll begin by teaching you some building basics like movement, resize, and rotate as you create your own delightful holographic scene. To start with, we'll place your first holographic creation. Using your gaze, position your creation on either side of the toolbox at about waist height and then air tap or say select to place it. Select. Good job. Now, let's learn how to move the toolbox around. Gaze at the toolbox handle and air tap to pick it up. Use your gaze to move the toolbox to an open area at about waist height. Then air tap or say select to place it. Select. Well done. You can reposition the toolbox and your creation at any time. When you're ready to move on, air tap the next button or say next. Next. The cursor you see in front of you is the movement tool. So let's use it to put a hat on the pirate using your gaze. Gaze at the pirate hat in the picture. Select. Great. Now gaze at the pirate and the hat will move to follow. You can also step forward and step backward to move your piece forward and backward in the scene. When the hat is in the right spot, air tap or say select to place it. Select. Perfect. Now you know how to use the movement tool. This is amazing. <laughs> what in the world? Done. Add menu. The scan you just completed will allow the NIU to place fragments of memories in your world. We call this technology Providence. We're looking for someone who can make sense of these memories. A memory investigator. Please look over here, by me. Do you see the small glimmers of light? Those are memory fragments. If you are the one I'm looking for, you should be able to bring them into focus. There, that rat. You can see it, can't you? Excellent. It's part of the memory. I'm loading the rest of the memory now. The crime you are about to witness happened a few moments ago. I don't know what you'll see, Investigator, but your first case has begun. <laughs> oh, that is awesome.
That's messed up. Kirkland, director of the Neural Investigation Unit. This is Sarah Barnes, our biotech and forensic analyst. Nice to meet you. Ruth Halliday, our chief technology expert. Hey there. Unfortunately, there's no time to get to know each other better right now. The young boy's life is at stake, and he's counting on us. I'd like you to see some footage that was taken from a press briefing this morning. Take a look over here at your hollow board. Hamish, this one's personal. Get it done. We'd better get started. Patience is not the director's strong suit. Our technology will let you examine Lucas's recent memories. Once you're in, focus on finding clues. Go for any information that might aid us in narrowing in on Lucas's location. Take a look over here. Ruth set up this interactive map. We'll be able to set the filters on top to narrow in on Lucas's location. <laughs> That's awesome. Close. To help with the investigation, I'll update the objective board when I've just updated your objectives board with the evidence Providence has detected in the memory, including what you've already examined. If you ever feel lost, just look at the board. It's a good way to know if you've missed anything that can help you figure things out. This is awesome. Let's see if there's anything new that could help us find Lucas. 